Dr. Jane Philpott, a former federal health minister under the Liberals, has been tapped by the Ford government to be a special advisor to Ontario's COVID-19 data collection platform. With more on this, I'm joined by Dr. Philpott. Doctor, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. So what exactly has the Ford government asked you to do in this role? Well, Ontario is putting together something called a health data platform. And the goal is to put together multiple databases that currently exist, some in public health, some in hospital records, some in laboratory records, and to bring those together so that there is cohesiveness and a much better understanding of the pandemic, but also many other factors that affect the health of the people of Ontario. And I've been asked to be an advisor to the Minister of Health and the President of the Treasury Board as this process unfolds as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible, for sure. Now, I was speaking yesterday with Dr. Shakawi, who joins us every day when we are waiting for the Prime Minister to talk to the country. And we spoke specifically about Ontario and how the cases are not going in the right direction. Do you see whatever mess we're in right now in Ontario as being something that can quickly or easily be fixed so that we see cases start to go down? Well, absolutely, that's everyone's goal. And data by itself won't do that. It, there has to be a, a strong uh, strategy around testing and tracing and isolating. But one of the realities is that that information needs to, to be robust so that when tests are done, people can immediately be aware of those results and be able to identify those populations that are most at risk and follow up accordingly through the public health infrastructure. So it, it's, uh, it does involve a fair bit of coordination across many parts of the health system, uh, but I'm going to be focusing on making sure that that health data piece is strong, is well connected and well understood. Why do you think Ontario is in this position? Why aren't we seeing the cases start to fall off? Well, I think there are multiple reasons. Of course, uh, many vulnerable populations have been hard hit, uh, particularly long-term care homes was one of the challenges uh, from the outset. Now we're starting to see these outbreaks in workplaces. And, you know, there have been struggles in our public health system for a long time. As I mentioned earlier, it hasn't been well connected to the rest of the healthcare system. And uh, there, there are a number of reasons why uh, that strategy has not been as effective as it could be. I will certainly be uh, looking forward to giving advice on how things can be done better. And, uh, this is, is really uh, uh, certainly concerning to all of the people of Ontario and across the country because it is holding us back. And uh, the more that can be done quickly to improve not only the testing strategy, uh, but the data strategy, that will be uh, critically important. And you have received universal praise for stepping in during this crisis, first at the hospital, then at Participation House. So you have seen the effects of COVID-19 firsthand. Can you share that experience with us and what you saw that was really an impetus for you to want to make some change and, and see things turn around? Well, certainly the experience working at a large group home called Participation House in Markham had a profound effect on me. First of all, it was uh, a, a very front lines experience of what happens when 90% of the staff have to leave a facility for a variety of reasons and you're left with 42 adults with uh, fairly serious physical and intellectual disabilities who are highly dependent on personal support workers and nurses to be able to, to meet all of their needs of feeding and, and dressing and bathing. And suddenly there's no one there and 40 out of 42 people are infected with COVID. It was a, a terrible circumstance and uh, certainly gave me insights as to, to how this virus uh, is so aggressive and dangerous. But as it speaks to the data piece, the, what I saw there was also rather shocking, seeing that 
people are filling out forms uh, to send to the public health uh, agency, the, the local regional public health unit, and they're filling them out on pieces of paper and scribbling uh, with pen uh, and, and putting them in a fax machine. And daily, back and forth, this information would go using archaic technology and realizing that uh, we're in the year 2020, surely we should be able to do better and some of this is what is holding us back from being able to to address this and see the uh, the numbers go down quickly in Ontario. Dr. Jane Philpott, thank you so much, doctor. Really appreciate it. All the best.